On this adventure, what is that thing? I am trying to find some ancient ruins in a remote part of Lake Powell in Utah. It all started about a year ago when I saw this picture of a massive ancient ruin online. After more research, I learned that this ruin is nicknamed Fort Moki. It was created by a Native American group called the Ancestral Pueblo. Other ruins at Lake Powell that have been created by the Ancestral Pueblo have been dated to over 750 years ago, so I imagine Fort Moki could be from the same time range. So where is this ruin located? Fort Moki is at the farthest end of Lake Powell, close to Heights Crossing. And just for some idea, the Glen Canyon Dam, which is the dam that created Lake Powell in the first place, which was completed in the mid-1960s, is here. And Fort Moki is way up here. I spent a lot of time trying to match up the scenery in this photo with Google Earth and eventually in person. What do you think? Is this that over there? I think it is. It's not really clear the exact location of where Fort Moki would be, but I came up with about seven to eight possible locations. Looking at topography maps from 1952, before Lake Powell and before any bridges were put in, this was the original Heights Crossing. Fort Moki would be in this area somewhere. I figured that Fort Moki sits at an elevation range of about 3,555 feet to 3,570 feet. This is important to know because Lake Powell, at its highest point, was at an elevation of 3,708 feet, which it actually got to in the 1980s. This means Fort Moki would be under about 130 feet of water during Lake Powell's highest time. Could the ruin even survive that? I am here trying to figure out a mystery whether if Fort Moki still exists, is still standing. During April of this year, 2023, Lake Powell was at its lowest it's ever been at 3,519 feet. This meant that the ruins could potentially be visible now. So I think I'm gonna try going up this canyon right here. So I plan to hike to this incredible ancient treasure to see what it looked like. Did my adventure go as planned? Well, I think I'm gonna wait out the storm. Did I find anything interesting along the way? I am in just so much shock right now. Did I find the ancient ruins that put me on this path in the first place? So let's go find out. Wait a minute. I still have to drive there. Oh well. Gotta check in first. Start my GPS here. Lake Powell used to be up this high. So I am way up by Heights Crossing and I can just see little small shells all over the place.
Another sign that Lake Powell came all the way up here are all the trees. These pieces of wood are from when Lake Powell was originally filled, when it brought out all the wood from the surrounding canyons, like all the dead trees and branches and things. When the lake began to shrink, a lot of the wood was left at this elevation level. It's Lake Powell. This is, here's a ancient fire pit. Look, another fireplace. <laughs> Even wood, ready to go, ready to burn. So can you imagine like, the family pulling up and just kids playing around and huh. not anymore. Cool, there's a little arch up there. Wonder if anybody's hiked up there. Should we do it? I don't want to. <laughs> it looks pretty steep anyway. So this plant is called moonflower. Um, it's very, very, uh, what's the word? Hallucinogen? It's a hallucinogen. Um, that's what I've been told. So don't eat that at all. I think the entire plant is it's poisonous. Like essentially it's a poison. So I think this is the original shore of Lake Powell. Like look at all these rocks and uh, logs pushed up right here. Like this is like the level they were at. Oh, there's Lake Powell right there. Wow. Hope we're not too late. kind of creepy. I feel like I'm in like a graveyard or something. Just all these dead trees everywhere. What do you think this is? Did somebody have a fire here? Kind of looks like it, huh? really hasn't been that difficult of a hike. I mean, this hiking has been easy. Uh, just walking along this this old shoreline uh, just makes it so easy. And plus there's clouds out, so that kind of helps with, with uh, hiking as well. I'm not sure if it's gonna even be there. The water's kind of high, it looks like. Well, now my hike just got more difficult. I thought it wouldn't be up this high, so I could just skirt around this corner and hopefully see that Moki Fort, but maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Not so bad. Good, not great. As much fun as it would be to hike down there by the shore all the way around, I think the easiest way is to go down here, up there, and about halfway, just keep going down. That's pretty though, look at that. What is that thing? I just looked down there, I thought it was like some white branches or something. It's pieces of metal. Anybody missing a shawl or a robe? Oh, it's a piece of carpet. Something stinks really bad. And it's not me. I think I know what this is. It looks like a tent pavilion canvas thing or tent pavilion thing, right? Yeah, because there's like the end pole. Oopsies. Sorry, whoever's that was, didn't mean to. I'm thinking I'm just too tired to go around this thing. It is pretty difficult. And I'm using up all my energy going over these big rocks. So at this point of the hike, I'm about right here on the map. So I think I'm gonna try going up this canyon right here, getting on top of this and then going over, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Um, but I'm glad I came this way. I gotta see Lake Powell this way. Let's go up this way and see what happens. Oh yeah, totally doable. This looks, this looks worse. Looks like a maze. Where do we go?
Let's go up right here and see what it looks like. Wow. Can't maybe see them all, but there's seven vultures over here. They've been kind of following me. Oh wow, that one's close. Oh, it's landing? Oh, that was cool. So this is 10 times better. It's just over there. I just follow over here and then go down over there and there it is. It's amazing how much better I feel after getting on an easy hike, <laughs> on an easy trail. I just feel so much better. And maybe it's because I took a rest, you know? I got a lot of water. Maybe my spirit animal is the turkey vulture. What do you think? This one is just following me. <laughs> Getting tired. Where is everybody? Why is no one not hiking out here? It seems like a fun place. Airplane. No, it's not looking for me, I promise. <laughs> I'm still fine. What do you think? Is this that over there? I think it is. Well, it's a straight shot to my car. It just goes straight behind me and I'm there about a mile and a half, or maybe two miles. The water looks kind of high down here, so I don't even know if we're gonna even see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe I'm too far down? Whoa, this is pretty high up. Maybe it's over there. Well, I think I'm gonna wait out the storm. So, <laughs> underneath this rock, I'm just gonna wait here until the storm passes because it looks like it might. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Feels good. Look how red I am, <laughs> I'm so red. It's nice to just relax for a minute. Hey guys, I think I just saw something so unexpected. I, I thought, I'll just show you. Okay, so I was looking up there and I see this big log up there. It looks like a telephone pole. And you look down here, what is that? What do you think that is? Thank goodness for approach shoes. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, that's so cool. That is so cool, how does that even stand up? Like this whole thing was underwater, like, I, I am in shock right now. How does this even stand up in water? I am in just so much shock right now. Like I'm just looking everywhere now for other stuff. But never in my billions of years being alive that I would see something like this in Lake Powell drained and then, I mean, I can't even, I can't even talk. I'm still trying to figure out how this thing lasted through being flooded like completely covered with water for decades. Like it's almost completely intact still. I mean, look at the look at the wood above that. That's how you know Lake Powell was up here. And even though up this little canyon right here, there's uh, wood and branches all the way up higher. Let's go over there. This is just absolutely incredible. Wow, I just... I don't even know what to think. Not sturdy. Let's climb up here. <laughs> Let's go this way. Wow. I wonder if anybody's seen this. Whoa.
if you're seeing this for the first time is me. Wow, this is beautiful. Whoa, I mean, that's all um, wood from Lake Powell. Whoever built this, this must be so compact that even the flood, you know, that the lake water is just bashing up against this. It just endured. Perseverance house. But this one right here, this one. So that one for sure is part of the structure. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. Some of these look like bones. Like I was looking at this one. It was like, it looks like a big shin <laughs> muscle or bone. Wow, like that is compact and that is so cool. Look at that view. <laughs> wow. Can you see in there? Since this ruin is near Fort Moki, it's highly likely that whoever built that also built this here. Huh, well, I, I am speechless. Oh, I just noticed something. So right here, it says 643, 1943. Somebody's name, I can't really make it out. W, A, W something. Het, Pack, Hackett. Or Barrett. Barrett. So there's A R R E T T. B M V. I can't really see this. Can you? Isn't that crazy? 1943, before the lake was even here. And here I am. After the lake. This was totally unexpected. If if I would have came up a different way, I never would have seen this. That's just. The weird part about all this is like my original route would have taken me all around this thing down by there but since the lake is so full so full relatively full i came up this way and then down in this canyon i never would have seen it i mean this looks like ancestral pueblo this is that area you know seeing this granary it's it's strange it's hard it's uh strange to it it will sound strange but it's kind of comforting to see it i don't know how to describe it but it just feels really good to see this thing and back on track again. Whoa, lots of weird stuff here. There's a cross right there. Oh, there's like a bunch of... Okay, I'm going to check out that. There's a cross right there. Oh my gosh, there's like a big structure underneath that rock over there. Okay, let's go down there. This is exciting. Like nailed together wood, not just... Oh my goodness. What? What is this? Is somebody living here? Is somebody living here? So this is somebody's home. What is going on here? What is this place? Huh, little fire pit. Looks recent. There's like tin foil in there. Or aluminum foil, I should say. Oh, there's a comb. And there's like Tupperware. There's a Tupperware lid right there. Oh, batteries? What? It's like an old... Uh... <laughs> huh, what do you guys think of this? <laughs> Oh, I found their water stash. Water bottles. That's weird. <laughs> Somebody was here doing something. Let's check out this cross over here. But first, look at these layers. This is really cool. Look at that, it's like tons and tons and tons of layers and then a really big thick layer right there. Then like a medium layer or a small layer and then all these little small, small layers. What is with this cross here? I wonder if it's just part of someone's like anchor. There was like an anchor thing or something. Boat anchor, you know, it's weird. Somebody propped it up right there. So I don't really know what to make of that. And then this right here.
what is going on here? This, this is very odd. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe better than mine. What was going on here? Okay, those detours are fun, but I'm excited to see this Moki Castle. This Moki Fort, or Fort Moki, whatever it's called. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure it's not anywhere I'm going to miss it. So up there, there's some very interesting uh, placements of rock up there, which uh, could indicate a ruin of some kind or some type of structure that somebody made when they're boating here. These are interesting rocks, huh? Okay, hold on. Yep, something is here. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, somebody had a fire. Looks like there's chairs. <laughs> Found somebody's, uh... Look, they made this like a little campground. It's cool, they decorated too. These little rocks. So you sleep there. Some you sleep here, you sit here. They decorate it right here too. This is really random. Wow, great spot though, huh? I like the way these people think, whoever made this. Bravo to you. Like you made this like this nice little balcony area, look. Oh, a little trail, cool. There's steps, decorations. Whoever this was, this is really cool. Oh, there's another sleeping spot right there. Cool, and over there, cool. There's wood. Somebody spent a lot of time making this. I mean, they built up this area, moved all these rocks built up that area. I'm gonna camp here next. These were all just distractions from my real quest, Fort Moki. I think I'm getting close. Ouch. This is that mountain right there that's in the photos of Fort Moki. What do you think? Seems like a match to me. Should be around here somewhere. I took a break, looked over my pictures and maps, and then had a thought. I think I had it all wrong. I remembered reading somewhere that the massive ruins were right above the original town of Height at Height's Crossing, at the junction of White Canyon and the Colorado River. They should be right here. Here is a view on Google Earth of where they should be. I don't know how I forgot that important detail. Whoopsie daisy! So, am I disappointed? Yeah, a little bit. But, saw some really cool things and that granary really just made everything so much better. So, this adventure still turned out to be really fun and I'm glad you joined me. Uh, it's not from a long hike back home in the wind. Um, I'm ready to get out of here. But thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. This is really random. Um, seeing these treasures is just something I just love to do and I hope you enjoyed it and had fun and I'll see you on the next trip. I am so ready to be done. Ready for a ice cold beverage. My water's warm now. So I'm making good time. Only have about a mile and a half left. <laughs> oh well, it's part of, the, part of the thing, part of the adventure. I see my car back there. <laughs> I'm almost there, maybe another three-fourths of a mile. I am so done with this hike. I know I just have to find a good way down, that's safe. Over there, and then down. Okay, we made it. Almost four hours, 20 minutes, almost seven miles, 6.88 miles. Uh, total ascent was 918 feet, total descent was 978 feet. Oh boy, let's make it a four, four hours and 19 minutes. Oh, there's my car. Do you want to learn a Jeff hiking hack? I'll show you, come on. First, open up your cooler, your ice chest. Make sure you have ice, which I do. Then, grab your cap, put it like there. Grab some ice, put it in said cap. There we go. Then, put on the cap. See, as the ice melts, the cold water trickles down over my hair. My hair. Which has all the sweat, the dirt, and the hair juices, and lice. Trickles down over my head, give me a cool, refreshing bath. That feels good. That feels good. That's a Jeff hacking hike. Jeff hike hacking. Jeff hike hack. <laughs> What's wrong with me?